Peter Dries Andersen, uh, was this a, an easy decision? Was it complicated? Did you have many sort of other thoughts in your head when you were discussing these things? Well, as you know, we cannot uh, reveal our deliberations, but uh, on a general note, I can say it's never an easy task to identify the recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. It is complicated because you always have to uh, consider it to so many criteria, and of course the basic criteria being Alfred Nobel's will. How does it fit in with the uh, phrasing of the principles of the Nobel Peace Prize? Well, it definitely is both uh, a contribution to fraternity between the peoples. Uh, it is also, in a modern sense, a contribution to peace congress, since there is, in fact, a peace treaty here. And it is also an element of disarmament, since the hostilities and the no peace, no war situation between Eritrea and Ethiopia has been resolved. So now if we sum up, it actually fits all the three criteria of Alfred Nobel's will. Do you then consider the achievements of the Prime Minister as sort of sustainable, that it will, they will be, have a fundamentation, a foundation which makes them last? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, what uh, is important to the Norwegian Nobel Committee is that we identify this as the most significant contribution to peace in the past year or during the past year. Uh, of course, we hope it will be sustainable and we also identify his efforts as having such a nature that they stand a chance to be sustainable. Uh, but the future is not under our control. Uh, Abiy Ahmed has received the Nobel Peace Prize for his contributions so far, and of course we hope that the prize always also will be an aspiration to continue the work in the direction that he has already made. And the next test then perhaps will be whether or not the um, uh, democratic elections are being held as planned in about one and a half years' time. Well, um, we have also in our reasons made a reference to his promise of um, setting out uh, democratic elections in Ethiopia. And of course we think that would be very important in uh, the democratization and development of Ethiopia. How has his efforts to work for peace in neighboring South Sudan influenced the decision? Well, what I can say is that the parties themselves have recognized uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed as his efforts of being significant and I think uh, they are the ones we really should listen to. Uh, but of course, uh, it is he has been a facilitator, a contributor. Towards the end of the day, it's always the parties who create peace. In decisions like these, are you only considering the factual achievements, the things that has been done, which you can read about in, in uh, statements and papers and that sort of thing, or do you consider the personality of the person who has achieved this as well? Well, we do hope that we identify a laureate who has uh, made achievements that fits the will, but also that it is a person who is... Um, has a personality and who is dignified enough to carry this most prestigious prize of the world. And of course this is a debate if we always identify the right person, but we are confident that uh, Prime Minister Abe uh, has the qualities uh, that are necessary to carry this most important prize. The Prime Minister also has a background in the UN peacekeeping forces. Is that of importance in this case? Well, as I understand, um, both his academic career and his military career and his career in public administration have definitely been ingredients to uh, develop uh, his uh, political thinking and his 
personal interests that has enabled him to be a relatively young man and carry out these formidable efforts that he in fact has carried out. Do you think the price will have an effect for the entire region? I mean, is it an example which might be followed or be an inspiration for other peace-pursuing politicians in the area? Now, I do not believe that the peace price is a quick fix in such a troubled region. There's no uh, reason to believe that. But I do hope that the peace price will encourage and inf influence peace processes. And I do hope that it will encourage Prime Minister Abe to continue um, participating and offering his assistance in conflicts as a mediator in peace processes. Did you hear his reactions when he was told about the price? No, I have not been informed so far. <laughs> no, just, I've just spoken to him. He was very, very emotional and very, very happy for it. Oh, I'm very happy to hear that. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you.